Hey there guys, it's TC Babe with TC Gaming. Wanted to bring you a video, kind of a way back series from the action RPG uh, stuff that I did quite a while back. Probably one of the first big series that I did where I was working through the action RPG template. And uh, I've always had a, a liking for that thing, an affinity for it if you will. And I decided that I wanted to go and see if there was a way to update this into a more current project. Now that we have a lot of options in 5.4, I think it would be fun to explore that a little bit more. So what I did is I went out on the um, on the forums, on the uh, learning section here, and there is a thing in here to update Action RPG from UE4 to 5. And I'd followed this a while back to go from 4.27 to 5.0, and they've also updated it to go from 5.0 to 5.1 or 5.2, and then to go from 5.2 to 5.3, and then to 5.4, and so on and so forth. So what I did is I went ahead and I went through this entire process for you, and I have created a version of the project now that is in my... I'm going to go ahead and launch this real quick. Action RPG. So <clears throat> I zipped this up for you, and I put it out on my Google Drive. And there's going to be a link to this in the file. Let me just show you where... The, or in the uh, video, I should say. But out of my Google Drive in the Unreal Training folders, I have a training documents down here, projects. There's going to be one in here for Action RPG 5.4.3. So this is updated to the latest version. And you'll see here that this, uh, this works just fine. Go in here and just start it. And you should see. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's got to compile still. Try that again. But yeah, there's your character. Everything works. And it's in the 5.4.1. Now, the nice thing about this is because, as I said earlier, we have a lot more technology available to us now. There's a lot of things we can do to expand on this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, give you the link to this. And then I'm going to start another series showing you how to bring the Synthi Polygon assets into this project and get everything retargeted. And then uh, we'll go into some other stuff from there, maybe talk a little bit more about the gameplay abilities and effects that are in here. So uh, hope you guys enjoy this. It'll be a fun little series. And then I'm also talking with a buddy of mine, uh, Code with Row, and I think he's going to start a series to show you how to rebuild the action RPG template inside of something like Ascent Combat Framework. He's been doing a lot of ACF videos. I don't know what his schedule looks like or if he's actually going to pick that project up, but one of the two of us will probably do that to show you how to convert something like this over to use uh, ACF with it, um, with the same, what I mean basically is that you have in here, you have a wave, you know, it starts wave one, you beat all the characters in wave one, it goes to wave two, wave three, so on and so forth, you get done clearing the wave, you go to another level. You know, just that type of gameplay, but actually using something like a Ascent Combat Framework for it. So that might be a future series coming up. Not sure who's going to do it yet, but uh, we're talking about it. So let me get this out there on a drive for you, and I'll see you guys in a video very soon where we're talking about the Synthi Polygon assets being converted over for this.